G'day YouTube, one MJ here and welcome back. Alright, Monday sort of lunchtime almost here in Australia and we can see that the markets are still going down again, so one point, under 1.5 trillion, but this is up a little bit from where I was looking just before. Now, let's have a look what's going on. Bitcoin dominance is 44, so climbing. ETH dominance is 16, is dropping, and ETH gas is coming down. But look, the overall market cap is down 7.3%. So let's have a look. You can see it's basically just a sea of red everywhere. Things just continue to go down, 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 and down. And it's times like this that people really start to panic and they're going to freak out. And look, if you're selling at the moment, but for a profit, then it doesn't really matter. Who cares? You know, as long as you've made money, great. If you're planning on selling at a loss, ask yourself has what you invested in changed? Not the market. We know the market's changed. Has what you have invested in changed? Like, has anything changed for the fundamentals of Bitcoin? No. Has anything changed for the fundamentals of Ethereum? No. There's just stuff getting better with these. Now, yes, there's all this FUD about, you know, coal, uh, fossil fuels, and all the rest of it being used for Bitcoin. A majority of them are moving to green energy anyway because it's just the cheaper way. So that's kind of a, you know, it's a, it's a mute point. Are there some using coal and all that? Absolutely. Are there many? No. And they're realizing that coal is getting too expensive. So don't let that stuff get in the way. China aren't banning Bitcoin. They've still got the same rules. They just reiterated the rules that they've had since about back in 2013, 2014 or something like that. Literally what is happening at the moment is it is a good old fashioned shakeout and it is the big players shaking out the weak hands. So you need to ask yourself, are you the weak hand or are you the diamond hand? You can outplay the big guys. You just buy and hold and you continue to buy the dips. You can even buy it on the way up. If you're DCAing, it doesn't really matter. They've worked out that that pays off the best in the long run. But if you can manage to you know, continually buy the dips, it also works out pretty good as well. So for me, I just bought some Bitcoin this morning. I bought it at, I think, about 34000 And what happens if it goes to $29,000? i am going to buy some more. What happens if it goes to $25,000? i am going to buy some more. What happens if it goes to, basically, there's no price that I won't buy it at. Obviously, you can't buy it at $0, but I don't think Bitcoin's going to zero. That's been around since it started, people saying that. Look, could it go down to $5,000? Yeah, maybe it's possible, but I can tell you right now, five thousand dollars, I'm still buying it. The only time I'm going to get worried is if it goes below kind of the three thousand eight hundred dollars that it was at the low of the last cycle. But look, even then, things still have their moments where they go to prices never seen before. I mean, oil went to minus forty dollars. Imagine buying oil at minus forty dollars. It'd be scary for most people. But there were some really smart people that got in and bought that and rode it all the way back. I mean, I don't know what oil's trading at now, but it's not minus $40. I'm going to say it's probably $100 a barrel or more or something like that. Either way, the people that bought at minus 40, they would have made an absolute fortune. So that's the way this uh, you know, investing operates. It's really hard to change that mindset because everyone wants to buy in on something that's pumping. They're like, yes, this is going to the moon. Once it's already pumping, you might be able to get a little bit of gain out of it. You might get a whole lot of gain. Look, who knows? But the issue is, are you going to sell before it turns around and seriously dumps? Because nothing goes up forever. We already should know that. It is likely going to dump really hard after that. This is when it's hard to buy, when something's down 40%. When something's down 50%. That is when the fear just grips people the most. And they're like, I can't do it. It's going to keep going lower. It's going to keep going lower. And look, could it go lower? Absolutely. But eventually it's going to be at its bottom. And it's probably there about now, but it's never financial advice. But you buy something at 50% discount from where it was a few days ago, the upside potential is massive. And if it continues to go down, again, it's if it's a good project, and this is not financial advice, this is what I'm doing. I'm buying at the moment. I don't care how much lower it goes. I'm going to continue to buy. Things are on such a massive discount at the moment. And as long as it's a good project, it is 
going to get back to its old all-time highs. So that means a 42% profit for Cardano from here. And if it goes lower and I buy more, then it's a 60% profit uh, intake. And if it goes lower, then it's 80 and then it's 100 and so on and so on. When you're buying things that are already pumping, you're more likely going to lose. And that is the hardest thing I have had to try and learn when it comes to investing is this is the days when I want to buy. So as I said, I've had money sitting on the side. And I said, if Bitcoin goes to 35,000 or below, I'm basically throwing the kitchen sink at it. Well, guess what? It's been, it's gone 35,000 below. And again, I don't have a whole lot of money sitting on the side anymore, but I have an income that still comes in, you know, fortnightly. And I will just continue to buy until it goes up. And I will continue to buy Bitcoin until it gets to $64,000. And then even look, after $64,000, I probably won't be throwing the kitchen sink at it anymore. I'm not putting too much money into the altcoins at the moment, but Ethereum and Bitcoin, I'm super bullish on those. And look, even Cardano, actually, I'll probably buy some Cardano. These are the three that I'm really focusing on at the moment. But I am looking to put some more money into the DeFi sector. I mean, have a look at these. Uniswap down 50%, Chainlink down 50%, Aave 43, uh, Maker 35, Synthetics 36, Compound 50, Terra Luna 70%. If you like Terra Luna before, then it's 70% discount. You know, Yearn Finance 50% discount. There is just bargains galore. The Graph 50% discount. Now, again, I don't offer financial advice. I can just tell you what I'm doing, and these are looking super juicy. And if they go lower, I just don't care. As, as, again, I'm not saying buy everything in the DeFi sector. Do your research and you know invest in what you like. I like the graph. I like Synthetics Network. I like uh, Chainlink. I like Uniswap. I like Aave. They are the ones that I'm looking at. That's not to say I won't go looking at something else. Like Terra Luna, I can tell you right now, down 70%. Unless there's something really bad that's happened with Terra Luna, that is a massive discount. It basically says if you buy now and it gets back to its old all-time high, you will have doubled your money. Chances are, and I don't know a whole lot about Terra Luna, but from what I've heard, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good project. You're, you know, Again, no guarantees, but you're almost guaranteed to double your money at some stage. As long as it's a good project and doesn't die, it's going to make it back to its old all-time high at some stage. That's a doubling of your money. You buy something at its all-time high, you're probably more likely to lose that as opposed to gain that. This is the this is yeah this is buying city at the moment for me. I am actively in the market. I can tell you right now. I'm going through all the projects that I really like can tell you right now it's not just DeFi although DeFi is high on my list Polygon Polkadot 60% I really like Polkadot God what is there Litecoin Litecoin down 51% again that was nearly $400 only a few weeks ago so that's 51% in the last seven days that basically says you can double your money when Litecoin gets to its next all-time high and some because it was literally at $400 and it's way under that. Uniswap, again, I don't know what the high was. Chainlink, 49%. Solana, 46%. Polygon, finally, I mean, that was at $2.20 something. So that is literally under half price. So I can't, you know, I'm never going to offer you financial advice. I'm just going to tell you what I'm doing. VeChain, I mean, this was at 20 something cents. So it is, again, 50% 50% on sale at the moment compared to where it has been. Now, again, can they go lower? Absolutely, they can like go lower. Guess what I'm going to do if they go lower? I'm buying more. Filecoin, I think this was nearly $200 and now it's $64. I like Filecoin. I'm buying, buying more Filecoin. I mean, look, I don't really like Doge all that much, but this was nearly a dollar. It was getting up there and it's now $0.30. Cents. If you think Doge is going to the moon, get on it. <laughs> And again, I'm not saying buy Doge, but that's the things I'm looking at. Now, last but not least, because we're going to get onto the charts. Actually, let's have a look. Has anything really pumped in the last 24 hours? Got to refresh this. 
All right. Is anything pumped at all? Stacks. This is actually up 70%. Uh, I got an alert for it before. So look, stacks is up. Now again, can this simply fall over and go lower? Yep. But you're still 24% cheaper than where it was seven days ago. And where it was probably two weeks ago is even cheaper again. Now let's have a look. What's been hit the worst before we go to the charts? Terra Luna, there you go, 74% discount. Zilliqa, Sirecoin, Synthetics Network, Ontology. What do we got? Polka dot. I mean, you know, Engine. I love Engine. I am buying more Engine. Uh, I really like what Engine's doing. Uh, that is one of the NFTs I'm going to buy. I'm going to buy some uh, Super Farm and I'm going to buy some chilies. Now, again, it makes it sound like I've got, you know, thousands of dollars sitting on the sideline to just jump in. No, I don't have thousands and thousands of dollars sitting on the sideline. I've got just a little bit over $1,000, and I'm just going to divvy it up between the coins that I like. Uh, and again, I have gone fairly heavily into Bitcoin and Ethereum over literally this, the last couple of days. And if it continues to go lower, I continue to buy more. That is simply what I'm doing. Again, look, Chili's 51%, and that's just the last seven days. I can tell you Chili's. Let's have a look. Let's go and have a look. This was up. I mean, this had quite a price rise for a while there. Let's go in the last 90 days. 90 days. God, what was this thing? I mean, that's going to be nearly 80 cents. And you can now buy it for 20 cents. That's basically a 4X. It is on a 4X discount, ladies and gentlemen. Hence why I will be buying some chilies. Again, there's so many projects out there. The graph, you know, down 50% from its all-time high, and I really like the graph. You know, Uniswap, 54%. Yeah, there's just so many <laughs> discounts out there at the moment. I'm like a kid in a candy shop at the moment. I just wish I had more money. But anyway, that's me. Last but not least, I want to move on to the Bitcoin chart. Now, what I want to have a look at is some of the uh, dips that have happened. And I've only looked at the dips after the bottom was in from the from the bear market. So we don't look at that because that's brutal. That's pretty brutal. That's brutal. That down to there's brutal. That down to there's brutal. This is just when we're in a bull run. And I believe we're still in a bull run. 50% just there. 58% just there. 82% just there. 35% just there these would have shaken most people out and this is before institutional money i mean there would have been some pretty smart very early institutional adopters in there but i mean an 82 percent correction you know we're only at 50 percent now that's this 40 percent 44 percent 30 percent 34 percent 35 percent 40 percent 40 percent now also, look at the number of dips. One, two, three, four in that bull run. And this is when hardly anyone was in there. So not really too many people were trading it back then. It really, 2014 was the wake up call, sort of 2013, uh, 14, was the wake up call that this might be legit. And it wasn't really until back here when it peaked over its old all time high. And this was when we went into the 2017 bull run people went oh my god this thing's legit so the bottom was in over here this is 3000 or 2800 3200 something like that now we had this big crash here this is 53 and i didn't add up all of it from back here this would have been even bigger this was literally just that kind of big dip in a day or two 53 percent we've already been through a 32 percent one now we've gone through a 50 percent correction I believe this bull market is still intact and for whatever reason if it does continue to go lower I would be very surprised if it was going to make it down to here we could come back and retest this that is absolutely possible I think it's unlikely all right let's get to the chart of where we are right now I think you're gonna find a lot of support more around here, kind of the, around about there, 29,000. And it's so funny that the bottom of all this almost marries up perfectly with this. As I said the other day, I get the feeling the bottom is in. I don't think we're going to go much lower than 30,000. But if we do, you already know what I'm doing. 
I'm buying. I will just continue to buy the projects that I really like. Not so much the altcoins because they're really going to get bashed about. But I am shopping for altcoins right now. It's just if we continue to dip, then I'm really just going to focus on the kind of big projects that I think, you know, they've got the test of time and they're going to be around for a while. So Cardano has been around for quite some time. Ethereum has been around for quite some time. And Bitcoin, the granddaddy of them all, has been around the longest. They are the ones that I'm going to continue to DCA in until they go up knowing that when they finally do go up again i'm you know i bought some bitcoin at thirty two thousand dollars thirty let's say thirty four thirty three let's just go thirty two i think it was a little bit more thirty three thirty four bitcoin gets back to sixty four thousand dollars i've basically doubled my money and i have no doubt it's going to get back there i can't tell you exactly when but i have zero doubt it's getting back there so for me, that's what I'm looking at. I can buy Bitcoin at thirty-four thousand. It get back. It gets back to sixty-four thousand. I've doubled my money. If I buy Bitcoin at twenty twenty thousand, you know, round about here, I triple my money, and that is literally what I'm looking at. I would be very surprised if we were going to go lower than the old all-time high. I'm not saying we couldn't, and we could even possibly come back down here. It's a definite possibility. It really doesn't matter what price it goes to. I'm just buying it because I know in the long run it is going to go up. That is my firm, absolute, solid, undefiable belief that is it is going to go back up. Short of, they're finally, not finally because I don't want to say it like that, but all of a sudden there is some fault in the code or something that can happen. But again, if that happens to one of the coins, it doesn't mean all cryptocurrencies are done for and I just don't think that's going to happen I think you know Bitcoin is solid and all the other products products or projects I should say will follow and they'll be pretty solid too well not all of them because that's not true there's a number of shitty ones out there but most of them are just the next evolution of Bitcoin and they're getting more stronger and more better and things like that more development going into them all right, look, I'm not going to take up any more of your time. Yes, it's really hard at the moment to kind of see the upside because everyone just panics. But for me, I've just been buying and I'm going to continue to buy because I know at some stage we're going to get to the bottom and the upside from there is going to be mammoth. But what I don't want to do is not buy this and continue to think it's going to go lower and then it suddenly shoots back up. And I'm not saying that's what it's going to do, but that is a possibility. So I just buy the dips and then I will start to sell once we sort of, you know, get back into the profit zones and things like that, taking small incremental profits so I can continue to increase my stack because that's what I've done this time. I have more cryptocurrency now than I ever did before because I sold some of it on the way up. I sold Bitcoin at 47000 and I was kicking myself thinking I'm never going to be able to buy it cheaper. I've bought it at 39 I've bought it at 30 Four and I got some. I think it might have been thirty-two or thirty-three thousand today. Ethereum. I wasn't so lucky. I sold at seventeen hundred, uh, but I bought back in today at two thousand. I think about one hundred dollars. So I sort of lost some money there, but I've increased my stack because I also took profits on some other altcoins. So while technically yes, I didn't make any money there, I have as much Ethereum as I did when I originally sort of had the most. Uh, is what I'll say. All right, that's it for me. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. Pretty hard to be hard to be on that game train at the moment, but this is where financial, uh, you know, upside is the most. And I'll see you next time.